guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sabrina and I would really appreciate if you would subscribe. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than what I normally post on my channel, but these are videos that I want to start making here for this channel. I asked on Twitter if you guys are interested in seeing more in-depth reviews um, about my piercings, meaning like healing, pain-wise, all that jazz, and you guys said yes. So today I'm going to be making a video all about my nipple piercings, which are one of my newer piercings. And I wanted to make this video first for a couple different reasons. One, if you guys are like me, then you are doing research on your piercings to learn a little bit more about them, which I think is an amazing idea. Videos on YouTube are very helpful, but what I'm realizing, and the second reason that I'm making this video, is that there's not a lot of videos about nipple piercings here on YouTube, and the ones that I found didn't really go in detail about having a larger chest which I am a bigger woman I do have a larger chest and the healing times and stuff I'm reading are much different than having a smaller chest so I wanted to kind of give my opinion on my my experience on this subject um, I'm not a piercer I don't know anything technically like that but I will give you guys my experience and all that jazz so if you guys are curious to know that then of course keep watching so I'm kind of nervous about posting this video because I know that people in real life watch my YouTube channel and I feel like this is kind of a personal thing thing I don't want people in real life knowing that I have this but I'm putting it on the internet so hi mom if you see this um, so I got my nipples pierced on my birthday which was October 7th of 2016 and I've had them pierced about three weeks now if you guys are interested in me doing like um, a longer healing update let me know I did see one girl on YouTube she had a larger chest and she was doing like every three months I think healing updates so if that's something that you guys want let me know and I will try my best to do it um, I'm gonna start off with pain because I'm sure that's what a lot of you guys are curious to know about um, everyone's pain level is going to be different so how I handle pain is not necessarily gonna be how you handle pain so this is kind of hard to judge on but I would say these piercings aren't very painful um, going into this, I wasn't worried about pain. I was worried about something else, which I'll talk about a little bit later, more, more so. Um, the worst part, she did clamp me. So first she marked me and then she clamped me. She said the clamping was going to be the worst part. And for me, the clamps weren't that bad. So I was like, I got this. And like I said, I do have high pain tolerance. So I feel like I, I, I knew going into it that pain wasn't going to be an issue for me. Um, she pierced my left nipple first. And when she pierced it, it actually felt like it got, the needle got stuck. So she did have to push a little bit harder going through which that kind of worried me a little bit but I asked her about it and she didn't seem to even like notice it happened so that may have just been something that was normal um and then when she pierced my right one it definitely hurt a lot more than the first one and I think that's because I think that's normal first of all and I think that the reason it did that is because my adrenaline was pumping through my body and I knew what to expect and so I wasn't as worried but um it just felt like being pinched if you guys have ever been pinched on your nipples that's what it felt like it just stung really bad and really the only pain that I had throughout the healing process that was like kind of unbearable was the first night and when I was asking my friends about this the way that one of my friends described it is she was very aware that she had nipples on her body which was exactly how it felt I ended up going to the movies and I I mean I went out after I got mine done and it just felt like a burning like I had been stung or something on my nipples but it wasn't too unbearable for me I didn't feel like the pain was anything that was not worth doing it so as far as pain I'd rate it a 6 out of 10 but again I do have a pretty high pain tolerance so if you know that you're not very good at handling pain then I would just be expecting to have a little bit more of a higher pain higher pain scale I can't speak but the pain wasn't anything that was too bad for me as far as healing again I'm only three weeks out so I can only tell you about my experience till now um, the first night like I said they were pretty sore I didn't experience bleeding that first night but the second night I did and um, my fear going into this was that I wasn't going to be able to wear a bra because I am larger chested I personally feel more comfortable wearing a bra out in public when I'm home alone it's a completely different story I hate bras so I don't usually wear a bra at my house but the piercer did tell me that she, um, um, wearing a bra would be helpful and I do think that that is a true statement so I did wear a bra obviously after I got it done when I came home I chose to wear a sports bra that night because my fear was ripping them um, I just I was really nervous about them getting caught on something and ripping and at that point I could feel everything so I was very nervous about that I personally kept the bra on pretty much solid for the first two and a half weeks so just a couple days ago that I stopped wearing a bra to bed obviously I'm still wearing a bra out in public but 
Um, I did take my bra off about two weeks after I got it pierced, but my, my nipples did feel very sore. So um, in the bra, they don't feel very sore. I, I can't even tell that I have them pierced, but if I were to take my bra off, I can feel that they're sore. I'm not sure why that is, but that's just how my experience was. And really the only other pain that I felt um, was when I would clean them like right after cleaning them they were kind of sore but for most part the healing process has been pretty great um, I did I did read online that having a larger chest the healing process is going to take a lot longer so I was expecting these to be hard to heal but my experience so far is that they haven't been bad the first night like I said they were sore and I didn't even start crusting until about the third day and I chose to clean my piercing two times a day with antibacterial soap which was a little bit much for me because it did start to dry out my nipples so I I move it down to once and I'm still cleaning them now three weeks out if they get too crusty because I still am crusting which completely normal I know that may crust some of you out but it is completely normal and so I just switched down to the one time whenever I noticed my nipples getting dry and something that I did which I don't know if this is something that you should do but I had an um like a lotion for my tattoos because I did get a tattoo recently that I put on my nipples to help with the dryness and that really did help my nipples aren't dry anymore and again I'm only cleaning them now if I need to because I'm past where I feel like my nipples are crusting enough to where I need to clean them two times a day so really I'm only cleaning them if they need it because I do I am still getting crusties which again like I said totally normal so I'm only cleaning now when I need to three weeks out and I will probably continue to have crusties for about a year I'm reading online but so far they're healing really great they look really nice and I only have problems every once in a while with crusting so going into this my fear wasn't pain my fear was having someone see me without my shirt on I am very self-conscious about my boobs I have been my whole life and that's one reason that I wanted to get these piercings because I felt like it would make me more comfortable and confident having piercings and tattoos makes me feel more like myself so I thought getting nipple piercings would make me like my boobs better and so far it has made me feel very very much more confident very much more it has made me feel much more confident in myself and in my chest but that's just my experience so when I went to get these done I was doing research online and there wasn't a lot of videos or um like information on larger chest mostly the things I were reading were on forums and I like watching videos to get personal experience um but when I was I did find a YouTube channel that showed the guy doing nipple piercings and my boobs looked very similar to theirs so that made me feel much more confident I'm going to tell you now if you're self-conscious about your boobs one the piercer sees them every day and two everyone's body is different so you don't have to be self-conscious I'm sure that you're beautiful just the way that you are but I know how bad it feels to feel self-conscious about that and so when I was going to go get my piercings, I was going to get them done in Indianapolis, which is a few hours away from me, but I ended up getting them done closer to me in the shop that I go to get tattooed at. And I, I was very nervous about it, but the piercer made me feel much more confident. She was a smaller girl, but she did have a larger chest and she did tell me she had hers pierced. And so she was kind of giving me her personal experience, which I liked. It made me feel much more comfortable and she just made me feel really comfortable. And I told her going into it, I'm not worried about the pain. I'm worried about you seeing me without my shirt on. And she was very professional, made me feel very good. So make sure you're going to a piercer that you know is going to be professional and make you feel comfortable. For me personally, I felt much more confident going to a female piercer as opposed to a male piercer but again that's totally your preference that's just what I wanted again I'm only three weeks out right now so this is only my experience to date um, I filmed this video a couple times so I'm not sure if I've included everything that I want to include in this video but if you do have any more questions or want to leave your personal experience in the comments below I would love that I will try to answer any questions that I get and let me know if you want to see um, like maybe six month healing update and thank you guys so much for watching have a great day Bye!